Alright fans, we're back on the air and I tried to convince Britney Beers to identify herself. And she's not Alaska, Nebraska, apparently. But deep down in my heart, I think that Britney Beers really is Alaska, Nebraska. And right now, folks, we're back on the air for some Tornado Tag Team Contingency as Team Japan meets the perfect crime. Now, my best right now is that Team Japan are going to win this thing. And if I lose this bet, I owe Perfect Sean and Lawless 20 bucks each. That's $40 right there. That's my money. The tag team partner from Japan, weighing 205 pounds, Tajiri. What a show it's been, folks. Every single villain has won, including Shelton Benjamin. We all know Vicious Jeremy and Uno are the fan favorites of that matchup, and Shelton had to win the match. Fans are not very, very happy to see that. And again, folks, Uno, during intermission, he seemed very, very distraught. I feel very bad for Uno, ladies and gentlemen. Not only because he lost the match, but he also lost a dear and personal friend in Frank Malay last year when he died of bone cancer. And ever since then, in every single independent league or independent wrestling circuit, we have delicious cupcakes that say cancer stinks on them. And all the donations, all the money goes into cancer research. And guess what? We endorse that. This show's been brought to you by F Energy Drink, the cool refreshing beverage of Supercard 9, live next Sunday night from the THQ Arena. Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here, perfect, Sean. You're not even perfect. You were so perfect, you'd be a champion by now. And up next, folks, up next, our main event, handicap match. Heath Hemingway against Danny Cairns, our current reigning Universal Champion, and Cairo the Emperor, who should already be the challenger, but unfortunately, Heath Hemingway had the best of him. And we have that to deal with. Tag Team Contingency Bolt continues now! That sounds disgusting, if you ask me. Stabbing cabins. <laughs> My stabbing cabin. That sounds wrong. It sounds very violent. I don't want to be in there. And here we go. Tag Team Contingency continues. And this is our third and final Tuesday Night Bomb uh, contingency. Team Japan won the one, won one match two weeks ago. That British Invasion won last week. Now this week we've got the final one. Which means that next week in a triple threat match, one member of each team will meet in a triple threat situation where the winning team goes on a super card nine to compete against one of the three team members. The Little Mercy brand. And ultimately leading up to a big match for the belts against Larry the Rabbit Laren, Titanium of New Rhapsody for those Tornado Tag Team belts. Captain Obvious, who is your pick in this match? Team Japan or the perfect crime? I don't go for the crime. Team Japan all the way. My 40 bucks says that Team Japan are gonna win. Let's hope to God, man. Let's hope that Japan wins. 
team, y'all fine. And on the second floor, Tajiri goes to that super quest on, 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 onto Lawless, who shows no bounds. That's why he's part of the crime. He has no law. And the DDT, holy fuck! Out of nowhere, that was unexpected. I thought he'd go for a superplex or a hurricane rana, but no. He drives the skull of Tajiri on the canvas. Come on, Japan. We're rooting for you, you know. And now Tajiri going upstairs, second floor, another superplex. Returning the favor. Hey everybody, I got big news for you. Final Fantasy versus 13 is not. Well, we have uh, we have someone obnoxiously talking in the background, announcing something about a Final Fantasy game. I used to remember playing Final Fantasy for the NES console way back in the day, guys. Back in the 90s, when NES was cool. And everybody knows that FF7 is the best Final Fantasy game ever made. If I hear any sass... Just a minute ago. If I hear any sass that FF7 is not good, time to apologize is now. Oh man, how rude of you, Sean, to break up a to break up a submission hold that we would like to see. How dare you? Oh, come on, Sean. Don't let him win. Don't let him get you, guys. Come on, Japan. Come on, Black Ninja. I believe in you. You're a legend in these parts. Uh, Stylin' DDT by Lawless. The perfect crime. Though all of the, they know everything about the Tag Team Championship. They've won the belts many times. But still, they're not the best. The best tag team right now, in my heart, is the legendary team of Lethal Enforcers, Pantalex, and Mick Doom. The runner-up of my favorite tag team in Fantasy Pro is the New Rhapsody. Only because... I mean, like, Lethal Enforcers have been around for over 12 years plus. And... Aw! Oh, a splash! Come on, yes! So, Legal Enforcers have done so much in this business, they've paved the way for guys like Lawless and Perfection. They've paved the way for guys like Yoshihiro Tajiri and Black Ninja. If it weren't for McDoom, if it weren't for Pentalix, and the rest of the Lethal Enforcers, there wouldn't be Tornado Tag Team Championship, and there wouldn't be such great championship matches in the tag team division. Exactly! Guys like Titanium and Larry Laren should bow at their feet, worship the ground that they walk on. I mean, even you, Captain Obvious, have been following the careers, the lives of Titanium and Larry Laren. So you know it. You, just, you know more just as I do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and right now it doesn't seem so good for Team Japan. They're in the corner right now. Oh, boo. These guys are Ah, oh, yes! Thank you, Black Ninja, for this wonderful, wonderful drop kick you've, you've given us. And a snapping head scissors. I don't know if that even got completed. And a bus saw kick. Screw you, Lawless, for ruining a goddamn kick to skull. Just let the guy do the move. Who's starting a car engine? Somebody, I don't know who that's who that is. Do not drive a vehicle in the building, I repeat. Do not drive a vehicle in the building. Aw, oh, good. Oh no, Lawless, no! No! 